Hi everyone, welcome back to Kamoni Designs. I'm Sandra. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining me. I'm an illustrator based in Houston, Texas. And I made a video a few weeks back about YouTube tips for beginners, especially if you want to start a channel and you only have a phone. Um, when I was making that video, I had a few questions about more of the process of it. So the actual making of the videos and some tips about like vlogging, filming and things like that. And obviously <laughs> I'm not an expert at this at all. I just thought I would give whatever tips were helpful for me so everything i'm going to mention is really just what i've learned up to this point and obviously <laughs> i'm not a pro at this yet but i'm hoping that it can help somebody else and encourage someone to start if that's what they want to do not be afraid to kind of fumble their words and fall on their face like don't be afraid just just go for it i've done it enough for all of us so you should be fine <laughs> but yeah i hope this video is going to be helpful for you if you didn't watch the first portion of it i'll have it just link up here in the cards and i'll link it also in the description below so yeah let's get started hi again a few questions came through from some of my patrons let's just get into them so the first one was about the angle of the camera so typically like i try to film it where i'm roughly at eye level with my lens um obviously with the phone it's a little difficult if you have to lean it against a surface if you don't have a tripod already then um in that case what i always recommend is lean or prop the phone against like some kind of wall or stack of books or something that way it stays but just make sure it is recording so maybe do a few takes and try and see how it works um, but the best angle is usually just like straight on now if you're filming yourself make art um, I always recommend like overhead shot so using the arm with the clamps that I showed you before um, or if you can't do that and you have just like a small tripod then you might have to put it where it's like I used to do this where it's like on a desk I use my kitchen counter and I just laid my phone down where it was filming <laughs> it was filming the floor and then I was drawing on the floor so you can't tell because then when I'm editing I just kind of zoom in but just so you have like an idea there's literally all kinds of tricks <laughs> that you can that you can do and your frames um, or how you're framed on the screen try to be like not like hi how you doing not so close not so far that one we can't really hear you or like we maybe you know the angles are kind of off just kind of a midway range like i usually tend to be like if you know the rule of three from photography you can just google that basically like imagine this screen here is divided in nine equal rectangles try to stay roughly in the middle like slightly to the left or to the right is usually like a better composition but um not too far off and not like too close to the screen because imagine somebody watching this on their television like they don't need to see all the pores right or the pimples because i'm sure they show up all the time and then the last thing um the orientation of your phone if you're filming for youtube try to remember to turn your phone to the horizontal position because a lot of people now that we're making tiktoks we're making stories on ig and we're forgetting that if you want to translate that to youtube unless well now they have youtube shorts but before they did <laughs> or if you're making let's say a vlog or something um it's really difficult to watch something vertical on youtube because the format is meant to be horizontal and that crops out like everything it puts just like black on the sides and like just this little itty bitty screen and it's already i'm watching it on my phone so it's already small um so just try to remember that it makes it easier to watch and rule of thumb is on youtube if someone has a hard time watching something they don't waste any time they just click off and go to another video so think about that the other question that i had from one of my patrons actually alex she asked um whether she should change the camera angle throughout her video so um i always recommend this i think it's a great idea to do that because it makes your video more dynamic it makes it more interesting to watch especially if it's like a vlog or if it's even if you're doing like a painting or drawing or you're making something um, I love watching people make other things, like all kinds of art, like pottery, glass blowing, jewelry making. I mean, I watch all kinds of things, miniatures. I'm like I'm kind of obsessed with the miniatures right now. But I definitely watch a lot of drawing and painting videos. And um, for a time lapse, 
I wouldn't move the camera at like probably not really much because I wanted to see how it starts and how it ends like I might in the middle of the time lapse throw in like a real time like a few brush strokes just in real time and like maybe zoom in maybe like at an angle from my phone or something just to really show some kind of detail or a texture and I wouldn't do that too many times like maybe once twice depending on the length of that video it's kind of one of those things play by ear watch it back a bunch of times and then see if that's annoying to you if it's annoying to you take it out <laughs> but if it feels like this is a good point for kind of a break from you know this section if a section feels like it's going really long like throwing in a different view a different angle is a great idea to like break up that monotony and just like switch up the look of it so it makes it more interesting to watch and i pretty much talked about the lighting and sound and all that i think but the other part of the sound that i didn't mention was if you put music on your videos please 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 pretty please before uploading it to youtube check it on multiple devices check it on your phone if you record it from your phone rewatch that video from like a computer somewhere to see what the volume level is like and make sure you watch the video from start to finish because when i first started there were times when i would watch a segment and i would edit it so many times that as i would crop and add and delete things i forget that i already had laid out my music to match wherever i speak the music was low and whenever i'm just showing me doing something or me going from one room to another the music would be louder um i'd forget sometimes to double check that my sound was matched to those areas where i cropped but typically now i know this i didn't know this before and if you're starting out and you don't know this when you're editing your videos um in like a video editing software a lot of times you're able to link your whatever they're called <laughs> like those strips of sound and video and all that like they had there is a word the scenes there's a word i can't remember it but you are able to connect them together so if you make any changes on one like if you crop or cut something it'll do that on all of them if you move something it'll do it on all of them so that music will be attached to that exact spot in your video and i didn't used to do this before so anytime i would delete like you know like a split second of maybe me rolling my eyes or me repeating the same word twice it would shift my music just ever so slightly and then the music volume <laughs> would go up before i was finished speaking and if i hadn't rewatched it to double check and confirm then i left it in that video and i know i have a couple of them like that um so tip for you rewatch before uploading and really try to make the background music as low as you can even when it feels like it's low enough like just remember could be a great track the idea is not for the viewers or the audience to be jamming with you throughout your vlog it's for me i use it to muffle like my background noises like my kids playing or jumping or doors opening and closing because like i can't really control them during the day unless they're out with their dad like today they're playing outside and i can record um but otherwise they'd be in the house i'll just close my studio door and i can still do what i want to do but i can still hear them and if i can hear them you can hear them here which means that when i'm editing i try my best to throw in like you know low mellow music and it's low enough that it kind of muffles and swallows those sounds they're not as apparent they're not as obvious you know they're there but they don't really bother you as much um but if that music is too loud then the sound is like competing with what i'm saying and now it's hard to pay attention to what i'm saying because the music is too loud so again watch it back um a lot of times i even recommend if you've been editing for multiple hours just kind of leave it alone don't look at it for an entire day a whole 24 hours and then listen to it again because then with fresh ears it'll really like you really notice it if something is too loud another great question from alex was are intros and outros necessary on youtube videos i'm gonna say yes and no to this because <laughs> some intros <laughs> they take way too long um just imagine if you were watching someone's video for the very first time you don't know who they are you see a trailer or maybe you read a description or you see like a thumbnail that tells you what the video is about and then you hit play on that video and like a whole nother thing is happening nobody introduces themselves nobody says anything nobody talks to you and it's like 
a minute of someone's you know I don't know trailer or whatever you might have it's great if people are returning viewers but if you want to start growing a channel most likely people don't know you yet so you want to get straight to the point like as quickly as you can so a trick that I learned from I don't know I watch so many different vloggers but a trick that I learned was to sometimes start with like something specific that I'm gonna talk about during that video and then throw in my little intro which is like two three seconds and then go right into the subject and so that works really well on my vlogs because I tend to either trip on something or fumble or forget what I'm saying or say hello on the wrong day like one of those sometimes I'll put that in the very beginning and then I'll put my intro and then I'll go into the rest of the vlog but my intro also used to be really long with music because when I learned how to make one that's what everybody was doing and then as I was editing it just felt so long to me so I ended up cropping it out that's kind of my rule of thumb if it annoys me when I'm editing or <laughs> it like makes me roll my eyes like makes me feel like it's a little bit long then I just trim the fat as often as possible the other part of the intro outro like not just the visual intro and outro like the little clip with music or something the outro i think is always necessary because i don't well i don't really enjoy when videos just like end and there's no all right this is it thanks for watching click whatever and you can find what i mentioned here like i i find it strange it's like a movie ending without like the end credits you know like it just feels like oh it's over oh okay all right there were there was like no lead up to it that was strange so that's a little bit how i feel about it end cards like the little windows that show you what else you can watch on that channel crucial make sure you include those in every video um, and i can make another video tutorial about that like if you want to learn exactly like what to do just put your questions in the comments below let me know if you want to learn that but um make sure you have something like that that at least like says bye thanks for watching watch another one of my videos here or something like that because that's a great way to keep people on your channel to keep them watching your videos so that your channel can grow but if you don't want to do the visual thing of like you know little logos or whatever you can always just do like a vocal intro like I always say hi welcome to Camera Designs I'm Sandra and I do this a lot because most people don't know how to say Camonia and it's hard for them no matter how many times I say it so I try to say it in all the videos when I introduce myself um, and I always say my name because otherwise they'll call me Camonia it's also my name but I don't want to trick and confuse anyone <laughs> it's still my name it's my middle name but I don't go by it so I go by Sandra so I always say hi welcome back to Camera Designs I'm Sandra like that's my little intro today I'm gonna talk about boom you know we go into the video sometimes I'll say all right let's get cranking and then boom I'll put a little like logo intro over here and then dive into the subject so that's another way you can do it if you don't want to do the graphics you can just do the vocal version but at least you're you know welcoming people into your house and saying goodbye when they leave and then the last couple of things were one of them was an upload schedule so i'm still honestly really struggling with this i've been trying to be consistent on youtube for the longest time um at one point it worked because my toddlers were still really small and they took their naps at the same exact time so i had a couple of hours every day where i could record and i could you know get this done i don't anymore because sometimes they nap sometimes they don't sometimes one naps and the other doesn't sometimes you nap for three seconds like i literally get set up and everybody's awake again so it's been really tough to find time to record things that i can actually have enough footage by the end of the week to upload a video and sometimes i have enough footage but i don't have any time to sit and edit because if i try to edit when they're around they're pushing buttons they're deleting my footage like too much stress for mama i can't do it so i have backed up footage <laughs> and backed up footage and it's just insane but when i was able to do it properly let's say and consistently i noticed that for maybe like a couple of months i was able to post almost every single week my channel did grow during those weeks granted it's still a really small channel right now but the 
biggest growth I've had up to this point was during that time when I was super consistent. There were a lot of brand new people that I'd never interacted with on any other platform that found me. It wasn't that someone that I already know from Instagram followed me and subscribed to my channel. It was literally, hey, I was just clicking on things and I landed on your video. I really like it. Do you have any more like this? I couldn't find anything. Would you make a follow up to this? Hey, you made this video last year. Will you do an updated version? Stuff like that. So I thought it was really cool. So I'm working on that, um, but I see that the people that I watch that are very consistent with their upload schedule, like every week, you know, you can just say every week if you're not sure about what day of the week, but if you're really good about doing it every single week, um, it looks good for your channel and it works very well and it helps you to grow. But again, everyone's schedule is different, everyone's life is different, so if it works, great, try to do it. And you're not forced to do like a weekly or a daily, you can do every other week, you can do once a month, if you do like one really long video maybe, or you can alternate, maybe this week you have an unboxing, like I do once in a while, it's like I have to stop ordering stationery. I'll do an unboxing, which is what I showed last week on my channel, and like now I'm doing more of a tips video. Next week I'll go back to regular studio vlogs where I'm like updating my office, maybe do a studio tour, stuff like that, show some of the work that I'm doing, and you know, you can alternate it like that, or you can just do the same thing all the time and then try to be very 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 consistent with it so that's totally up to you um, but there are some people just be aware some people in your audience are going to be sticklers for that if you tell them every monday at three they're going to be here every monday at three and if you don't have a video uploaded as well yo where your video at i'm up here waiting what's going on so just keep that in mind <laughs> And the next question came from Alila and um, she had asked how to be confident and how to stay motivated when in the early days everything is kind of moving slowly. So first, how to be confident just like this, like start doing it. There's the only way you're going to become confident. Um, my first few videos on YouTube, I never even showed my face. I think there's like the first 10 maybe I don't remember but it was multiple months before I showed my face I want to say my first video on YouTube was Inktober 2019 and um, I don't think I showed my face until maybe the following summer that was my first studio vlog I might have done like a Q&A video or like an assumptions video before that but that was literally the first time that I showed my face on this channel so I only ever used to do videos where I draw or paint and it's just an overhead shot of like my hands and a lot of them too I was even too shy to do a voiceover but it was like I don't want to just do music and then try to write text because it's hard to follow so I started doing voiceovers and um, when people loved how my voice sounded it made it easier for me to make more so <laughs> so that's how I ended up kind of where I am but you only build the confidence by doing it so it's something people hate to hear but it's really true practice does make perfect so if you are afraid to post whatever you film just record a bunch of random videos that you're not meant to post like just for practice give yourself a topic write some kind of outline like I have my little outline here of what I'm talking about today and try presenting it as if it was going to be a youtube video and then try editing it watch it back see how it looks and then save it and then give yourself some time make another one and the following week make another one and then the more you make them the more comfortable you're going to be talking to the lens or just feel like you're talking to a friend you'll get more cozy with it and it'll be you know it'll just be kind of like your thing that you do and I've heard this from everybody who used to be terrified to speak on camera that like that's something they love to do I really love to do this also I talk quite a bit so it's nice to just be able to talk and not feel like I'm interrupting somebody else I ignore my own self sometimes but yeah but then when I edit it's like girl stop talking <laughs> like then I just chop everything else off but that's that and as far as staying motivated when things are going really slow it's really gonna come down to how much you really want to do what you're doing so um, if it's something you truly want to do and you truly enjoy it won't really matter that it's moving slow it will move slow like I'll tell you that honestly um not everybody goes viral not every video goes viral sometimes you can go two three years without anything ever happening and your channel remaining really really small and then randomly one day like things just happen and then people start to see it so don't just wait for that to happen just focus on making your content better as you go forward don't try to do everything perfect on day one that's never gonna happen let your first video just 
be done and then improve on it as you go so just watch them back and see one thing that you want to change then change that the next time and then watch that one and see one thing that you want to change and then fix that for the next time don't try to do everything at once and just progressively take your time to improve and as you're doing that you'll see things will grow like it'll move slowly but if you find a topic that you really enjoy that you love talking about that you love sharing or art that you love to make you won't ever run out of videos to make so the gist is just get started don't be afraid take your time i'm here to support you so if you're starting a brand new channel leave it in the comments let me know i'll come and watch it and if you want i can even give you a little bit of feedback um and try to help you as best as i can but i try to make art videos every week and <laughs> studio vlogs to show my process of growing a small business with toddlers in tow so if that's something that interests you subscribe so you can see everything that i'll get up to i am always on instagram you can definitely find me there at kamwanya.designs i'll have everything linked below for any additional ways that you want to find me thanks so much for sticking with me and watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a like so other people can find it and hopefully i can help them as well um if you have any other questions about this topic don't hesitate to ask in the comment section have a great rest of your day or night and i'll see you in my next video bye